guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video i have a things i wish i knew before having a baby or like what i wish i knew before having a baby if you don't know i have a two month old boy his name is oliver and here are a whole bunch of things i wish i knew before having him a lot of the stuff i knew about so i had to think real hard on what i didn't know or what i wish i did know so if you're excited for this video give it a like comment down below video ideas for the future don't forget to subscribe i checked my analytics and more than half of you guys that watch me aren't subscribed so definitely hit that subscribe button and let's get into things i wish i knew before having a baby so these things are going to be for you and for the baby so the first thing i want to talk about is stretch marks if you don't know stretch marks are i think genetic so no matter how much cream you put on you're still going to get stretch marks i know that sucks trust me i thought i would be good if i put on so much cream i put on so much moderma every night hoping and praying i didn't get stretch marks and every day new ones would show up and i didn't understand why i was getting them because i was doing what i was supposed to be doing and you can't prevent them you can just like you can make sure they're not as bright so i put on the stretch marks cream after that finding out that there's no way for me to prevent it just to lighten them a bit because mine were like very red but when i used the cream it was more pink it wasn't as red as it was if i didn't use the cream so stretch marks can't be prevented you just have to take it all in and i know it sucks because i don't like my stretch marks just think with your body you brought into this world a little baby and you should be so proud of those stretch marks the next thing is babies really don't need that much i was very shocked i thought babies needed like so much stuff but they really don't they really just don't need a lot of things just you know clothes basic pajamas sleepers onesies stuff like that and then their diapers their wipes um some stuff for feeding obviously if you're breastfeeding you need stuff for your pump and all that stuff if you're bottle feeding you need all the bottles and the formula and stuff like that but you'd be surprised i thought babies would need way more than they do so yeah babies really don't need that much the next thing is don't buy everything new i was so set on buying everything new because i'm like i don't want to buy people's used stuff but I did buy my crib new because this was something I really wanted new. But like clothes and stuff, I shopped at Once Upon a Child. I bought some of his toys at Once Upon a Child. Like don't buy everything new because it can be so freaking pricey when it doesn't have to be. Another thing we did buy new was obviously his car seat because you don't know what that car seat has been through. And you don't know if it's still safe for the baby. So the car seat is definitely like the main thing you should probably buy new. But everything else you can buy used. The next thing is everybody tells you that time flies and before i had a baby i was like oh my gosh you're crazy whatever well time actually does really fly like i am so shocked that he's already two months i feel like i had him literally like yesterday he's still so little and i was i'm just so sad that time is flying by because before i know it he's gonna be one and i'm just not gonna know what to do with myself i'm gonna be so upset but take in every single moment with your baby. Make sure you take a ton of pictures because I look back at my pictures all the time about how little he was and how much he has grown since then. And just take everything in because time really does fly. So the next thing I kind of knew, but I didn't know to the extent of it, is it's so hard to get your baby to sleep. And... Oliver was a really good sleeper in the beginning, obviously, because most babies usually are a really good sleeper in the beginning, but he takes so long to fall asleep now. He doesn't want to take his naps anymore, and no matter how hard you try, because he's exhausted, you can see it in his face, he's overtired, no matter how much you try to put him to sleep, it is so freaking hard. It'll take me an hour for him to fall asleep, and he'll only sleep for maybe 15 to 30 minutes and it makes me want to cry because we did all that work for him to get like hardly any sleep and then at nighttime is just as hard if not even harder so oliver does about 
three to four hour stretches at night he's not quite sleeping through the night yet which is fine it's just a little tiring especially when he wakes up and doesn't want to fall asleep for another hour and a half which has been happening the last couple of nights we'll wake up we woke up at three the other night and he didn't want to fall back asleep till actually almost five in the morning so you can bet that i was ready to cry because i was exhausted he was just having a party living his best life thinking it was like daytime and it's just so freaking hard so you're not alone it's okay it's normal but it can be so frustrating the next thing is the amount of unsolicited advice or opinions you get on your baby is insane i knew people would have different opinions than you because that's fine everybody's different but the amount of comments of people saying like certain things you're doing is not right or you should be doing it this way or I'm bottle feeding I am or formula feeding I'm not breastfeeding the amount of comments I have gotten of moms shaming me for formula feeding instead of breastfeeding is insane why can't we all just support each other we know what's best for our babies we know what's best for us and our mental health like we should all just be supporting each other it's insane and we should leave our comments to ourselves if i'm asking a question on something then you can answer with well this is what worked for my baby you should do it this way or you should try it this way don't be like i show my baby and he has pacifier in his mouth and you're like he shouldn't be using a pacifier because he's gonna get attached to it like did i ask your opinion i did not so the amount of unsolicited advice is insane but just in one year out the other bye <laughs> so the last thing is something i knew but i didn't know to the extent obviously because i've never had a baby before but the amount of love that you have for this little baby is insane like it is insane i can't leave him because i'm obsessed with him like i leave him with his dad to go grocery shopping because i would just get it done quicker if i went by myself and it's my little outing for the week and i miss him so much when i'm gone i come back and it's like I'm like it's insane how much love you have for this little baby i like i just don't even know how to explain it because it's like something you won't even know until you have one of your own and like when people would say that to me i'm like but like it's not that hard just like explain it to me like just tell me what it's like and you really just can't explain it it's just like this overwhelming amount of love for this baby that you created with the one that you love like it's insane Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have things that you wish you knew when before you had a baby, definitely leave them down below. I would love to hear what you wish you knew. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.